Can you? <laughs> Morning. You ready to go outside? You let Granny sleep. Thank you. It's a good boy. It's a rainy morning. He don't like the rain, so this is going to be a short walk. He don't like the rain. And my raincoat is in the car, and Shelby had the car, so I don't see it. <clears throat> so I had to grab my handy dandy rising jacket this morning. Ah, so let me get him situated and um, make breakfast for us and then get myself together for my workshop. tea this morning I got when I was in Seattle Bainbridge this was in the um, gift basket nope this was Tulsa in the gift basket this was when I went to Tulsa in the gift basket thanks you're a peach and it's uh, peach flavor is very good and I'm sure you noticed I have a little tea with my hot lemonade. Yes, I put that much lemon in my tea. So the walk in the rain made me late. So we got to transform because I don't have time to do my hair. And this is why a good hat will help the situation. A good hat, throw some earrings on. So we go with Gigi Loves Orange again. This is the Love Poncho. Gigi Poncho. Ah, I'll put it in the down bar. And then we need a widow, a widow, a widow eyeliner to bring those eyeballs alive. Just a little bit makes a difference. Listen, the gray hair in my eyebrows really <laughs> so see eyeballs alive and we are going to put a little a little bit of sheen on the lips And I will leave that there in case I have to reapply. So, I have my journal, I have my pens, and I'm ready. So here's my setup, my pens, my, my tea, my journal, which I keep in my whole he leather cover. So, what I like about this journal, this was made... This is a handmade, hand-bound book I got from my first visit to Squam. But what I love about it is it has blank pages, no lines. So like in the class with Alex, you know, we have to draw sometimes and, and things of that nature. So this makes all of that doable. So I am excited to get today going. I am, I am. And some of my 
favorite pens was to say clean color as you can see they're not all in here but what I like about it is you got a fine point on one end and a thicker one on the other if you want to emphasize these are also another set of my favorite pens they come in multiple colors and my favorite highlighters if I want to highlight something. And I love them because they're not your traditional bright orange, but you have like a blue and a, a muted gray, which I love. So considering I looked like a monster five seconds ago, I think I did good to pull it together with six minutes to spare. Let's go right and heal. Talk to you guys later. I showed you, Shelby opened the admin, I showed you <clears throat> Gunner Snacks, and she opened the, and it's a body scrub, it's white tea, it smells really good, their scrub is nice, they do a um, dead sea salt scrub, and the consistency of it is really nice, and it, the uh, end result is good. So this is a different scent for us, white tea that smells really, really good. Like, I want to go take a shower, it smells good. And this big beast, I was watching Adela and Lola open it yesterday. And also in here is a code for the free patterns that you can download. So you can either crochet or knit the uh, ornaments. So let's see, today is the third day and these are the colors for today's ornament. So that's why you have the double pointed needles as well as the crochet hook because whatever your fancy is, you can make your ornaments that way. Cool, cool. And I didn't read you guys, it was the night before crafting. When all through the yarn shop, not a swift was winding, nor a stitch was dropped. The hooks and needles were all prepped with care in hopes that Jimmy Bean's order would soon be there. The makers were nestled all snugs in their beds while dances of yarn balls spun in their heads. When out on the porch heard a delivery truck rustle, makers sprang from their beds ready to hustle. Away to the door, they flew like a flash, tossing their current whip <laughs> into their stash. The moon illuminated the freshly fallen snow, giving the anticipated package a glorious glow. When what to our wondering eyes did appear, but the Jimmy Beans crafting was finally here. Isn't that cute? I didn't even pay it any mind. So, the workshop is over. It was three hours, and... If you are not familiar with Alex L, she always does such a good job. Um, you had prompts for journal writing. She had a, a woman with her. Um, what's her name? Josephina. And she does like the art prompts. So we had like a body scan that you colored in based on how you were feeling in the different sections of your body. You do breathing exercises, meditating. Um, they break you up into groups and, you know, you share. I was quiet this time because I usually am very talkative because people are quiet and don't want to say anything. And I hate for her to have a session if folks are quiet. But this group wasn't quiet, so I didn't say much. Um... And she texted me, he was like, speak. I'm like, Alex, the, the people, they doing their thing. Let them do their thing. Um, so I just ordered me some zucchini and a salad because I'm hungry. All I had was a donut that Shelby got me from Duck Donuts that was so good. I forgot how good those donuts was. My God, today. 
Is it? Yeah, because you can reheat them. I got you two glazed. I had got me two. Oh, like I'm going. Bacon. Okay. I'm going back to get. A, um, I just want the plain. It was so good. It's a um, cinnamon sugar one, too. Is it? Yeah. I have to. Okay, I'm going to go get me another donut before my food comes because I'm hungry and I'm getting a hungry headache. Um, I can't even show you. Okay, hold on. That's a big book, Shelby. Um, um, what else was I going to say? Speaking of books, I think I was saying to you guys, I was listening to the books. I am currently listening to A Blood in... I'm getting ready to lie to you. I'll get the name and I'll come back. Because Shelby, with her, when she had her book club, you know, she would recommend books to me that I wouldn't normally read. And she kind of introduced me to the fantasy realm and I have been hooked. So we just finished. What was that? What was that series? The one you finished it before me and you was telling me to hurry up and finish. Fourth Wing. What was the second book? So, Fourth Wing is the first book. I can't think of. The, is her name Sarah Moss? No. No? Rebecca Yarrow. Rebecca Yarrow's Fourth Wing and whatever the second one was. Very good books. If you like fantasy, you like dragon, you got romance, you got a little bit of everything in there. That was good. And I listen to books because I can do other things. Like fall asleep and wake up and have no idea where I'm at. But that's where I'm at. And Shelby's getting ready to share this big gigantic book she got in her hands, hopefully. I realized the book was this big. What did you think it was? How many pages is that, honey? Because she has a goal while she's looking. So your goal is to read how many books this year? Uh, 75. I need two more books. I, okay. This one piqued my interest. This is 1,140 pages. Okay. The reason that I added this book to my cart was because this is an African-American author that I have never heard of before. Okay. His name is Leon Forrest. Um, he was born in 1937. He died in 1997. And apparently okay. this is like his, um, it's a very great book. Apparently I'm never going to know. Why? <laughs> You're not even going to try? I don't think I can. I don't know what he could possibly be talking about. In this I book. ain't raised no punk. You in fact did. <laughs> I've just been masking all these years. Oh, you oh. did in fact. Uh, you're a punk. Very much so. Oh, I no. mean, I just be doing stuff scared anyway, but I be scared. I don't know how long it would even take me to... I don't think I have the attention span. Because, can I tell y'all something? I just said that I listen to books, right? So, get in the car with Shelby and she'll be listening to a book. And I'm sitting there the first time like, why is this sound? What is this sound weird? What is happening? Because Shelby listens to the book on what speed, Shelby? It depends on the book. Between 1.5 and 2 speed. Right. So, to me, it's like... Bleh, bleh, bleh. I'm like, it what? It doesn't sound like that to me. I'm like, why? It, what? it used to before I... Before I... Like, I used to, when I first started speeding my books up, like, I slowly got to the point where I could, like, do a 1.8. I can't do it. Can't do it. No, One I time I fell asleep and accidentally rolled over on the phone and I woke up and it had speeded up and I thought I was having a stroke. I didn't know what was happening. So, yeah. No. So, back to Alice for a minute before I forget. If you follow me, you know that I often share affirmation cards. Um, more, regular, more regularly on my Facebook page. But it started with Alex because she used to share affirmation cards in our little group so i started purchasing them so this one says dance it out i can move emotions through my body by dancing whenever i start to feel built up energy or crankiness i will play some music and move intuitively i have to look <clears throat> a certain way simply move and feel as the sh as the stress and the heaviness begins to ease out of my body so i shared these 
she uh, Alex has her own deck now. Uh, let me put this candy down. Oh, please. Okay, so Alex has her own deck of cards as well. Hers is broken up into self-love. So, I'm sorry, self-trust. Um, self-love, letting go, personal power, boundaries, and healing. So I share a card, and I like, so if I take this first one, it says, I trust that adversity can teach me something even when the lesson is hard, and on the back, it has a practice. So to tell you, this one says, in your journal or on a piece of paper, make two columns on the left. List anything that feels challenging for you at this time in your life. On the right, write one lesson you're learning or have learned from the challenge. Adversity is inevitable, but if we look closely, we can see that each difficult thing we face can teach us something about ourselves, allowing us to emerge stronger and clearer. And then this one I found on the internet, Dear Self-Affirmation Card Deck. And the people on my Facebook page are loving these. They are numbered. And so I take a picture of them and I share one each day. The next one coming up is says, Worry Free. When I think about my life, I realize that now, I now have so many things that were once just desires. Why do I bother worrying at all? I think about how perfectly blank or blank worked out for me. And you fill in the blank that applies to you. Now it seems silly that I ever held any doubt. It helps me realize that there's no need to worry about blank because everything is always working out for me. So this is what Alex brings to my life. More positivity, more uh, self-healing, um, how to use the tools that you have, especially writing to heal. So I wanted to share that. And I'll put the names of the decks in the down bar. If you're interested, this one, Nourish Your Inner Being, is a young lady that actually is a therapist herself, but I met her in the group with Alex because we all met up in D.C. this summer, and she just released the deck, so I share these two, give you an example of one, it says... I choose to let go of what was so that I can receive all the good things that is to come. So, as you can tell, I am serious about my positive energy. And I go out of my way to make it happen. So, sometimes I need the cards to kind of shift what can sometimes be a negative thought. Does that make sense? So that's why I was excited about today and I looked forward to spending some time with Alex and it was a bunch of new folks on there that I wasn't familiar with. I thought it was going to be um, some of the folks from the previous class, but I didn't see anybody from our previous class, but it was, it was cool. good stuff. And Shelby knows I have a terrible sweet tooth and she brought these sour gummies mm -mm. there's the purple the black the silver and another one of these um i was keeping these okay this is the the yarn from adela this is georgia peach <laughs> if you follow us you know we had a big battle of George Peach because <laughs> I made a sweater in it and it wasn't available at the time. Everybody wanted it. And so every time I wore the sweater, she would fuss. But at any rate, it's Georgia Peach and she, you hold the, um, a mohair along with it for the sweater. Um, <clears throat> I was going to wind it tonight. But my elbow just reminded me that I might need to still take a break. So I'm not going to wind it up. I may wind it tomorrow. But I just thought about an embroidery project that I started. 
it's a little ornament so let me find that and i think i'll do i can work on that i need to do something because i don't i haven't knit anything since i finished my um Rhinebeck sweater from um knit collage did i show you guys that? i have to show you guys that so i found it and as you can see i did very little of it so i am going to work on the hair tonight and see if i can finish the fro now when i first learned how to do this and i had so many people telling me that i was doing the french knot wrong and i'm like okay but i am getting what i want for my curls so if i am doing it wrong oh well i like my fro so there's that why are we that way why do people do that why do they feel the need to gatekeep it's art it's all relative in my opinion it's creativity and there's no need for folks to get all bent out of shape. Of course, her Santa hat has to be orange. I should be finished the, the hair soon. But I wanted to come out here and say, when you are a creative and something stifles your creativity... The feeling that you get when you start doing something. When I tell you, I'm just as at ease working on this. I needed to do something. I needed to let my creativity out. Does that make sense? Talk to me in the comments. But, and the zigzag on the tree and the star is going to be orange. I don't need to say that, do I? Oh, okay. So I'm going to stop because I need to write up the Monday mood. But this is where I am so far. And I'm pleased. I'm pleased. I, still just, I just realized I didn't do her mouth. I got to do her mouth. But I'm happy with her. And this stuff, once you put it in water, it comes off. So it'll just be um, the linen. So I'm excited. While I was searching for my embroidery, I found this little book. It says, Believe in Yourself. And it has all kinds of little positive statements in here. And I always like stuff like this. I just keep them in my bag because life can be a bit much. But I love to have little statements that will... Um, Give you something to chew on, inspire you, right? And then <laughs> I found this in there. That's that's little me. <laughs> so I am going to shut it down for now. I'm getting ready to write the Monday mood for the newsletter for tomorrow morning and get myself settled down. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Um Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. I love to come and see your comments. And thank you for subscribing and being here with me. I appreciate you all. I promise I do. Mwah, 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 mwah. Talk to you guys tomorrow.